Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Um, I I was just standing here, so uh, pulling out uh, these uh, stingy nettles and st uh, sticky willies and all of those kinds of things. And uh, I sometimes uh, I sometimes stop in the middle of my work and just feel what it's like to be surrounded by this much. Uh, life force and beauty look at the roses they are crazy this year and also uh, I'm feeling such gratitude for all um, this is like a, one one of the spots of uh, the most delicious huge uh, raspberries that we have and uh, I'm just trying to get all the, the nettles out uh, before we need to harvest these and it won't be long and I mean, they look so healthy and happy. Um, it always amazes me how much power is in this growing system. And I, I don't know, maybe if you have a food forest, I'll be curious to know how you have experienced it. Because I think it, it's moving in sort of in jumps. So uh, third year, when I first started making the food forest, third year, suddenly growth was explosive. And then there was a sort of a, uh, a growing for until seventh year, and then suddenly it was like totally itself and totally full, uh, full of uh, well, full of growth. Uh, and now I think we are in the we are in the twelfth year of growing, and it's like there's another jump in the growing power. I can hardly follow, and um, it's it's. It's actually almost too much. It's vibrating powerfully and, and <laughs> it's just too much for me to follow, which is okay. In a way, I'm just going to have to allow some places to go wild, <laughs> much like this. Uh, but I really love my raspberries, so I am trying to, to regain a little bit of control in some areas. Um, so, um, I don't know, I'm curious if you've seen sort of these jumps, it might also be that we've had more water this spring, but uh, I'm actually, I'm seeing how the trees are very sort of filling out, filling in and everything is touching and uh, it feels like we've made another jump in terms of growing power. Um, so I'll follow that a little bit and uh, try to surrender into that because it's constantly seeing, observing what's going on and then seeing what should I do, what could I do, what should I stop doing, uh, what are my options and they are constantly changing and that of course is, is working with succession uh, but it's also um, uh, working with the season, the, the special uh, conditions that are in every season and that's changing constantly. Um, so I, th I think it's just, there's no right way to do it. And uh, what I needed to do last year, maybe I don't need to do this year. So uh, it's a constant listening into what the garden needs and what we need, because we also need to be able to access some, some of the areas where we, uh, we will have raspberries for our winter smoothies and stuff like that. But I am so grateful. I think working, working in a space like this can you imagine every day working with making this more beautiful more lush more fertile more i mean what a thing what a thing to do so uh, i just that was just an afterthought um so uh, here i am in the middle of the roses and the stingy nettles thanks for watching and see you later